going to get started with one block of cream cheese and this is Philadelphia cream cheese if you are counting calories just know that Philadelphia cream cheese has 10 more calories per serving um, I have one stick of salted butter my second stick of salted butter and my third stick of salted butter and these are all room temperature I'm also going to add in some pure vanilla extract probably about a tablespoon's worth we know I like vanilla I have some butter extract I'm gonna do a capful which is probably approximately a teaspoon and then I have my cream bouquet I only have a little bit left, it's time for me to get some more. And we'll do approximately a teaspoon. I'm gonna let this mix for just a few seconds and then I'm going to add my three stick, my uh, three cups of sugar. And I have my fan mixer fitted with my whisk attachment. And that was probably about 30 seconds worth of mixing. Now let's add in our three cups of sugar. And we will let the sugar, the butter, and the cream cheese mix until it is completely whipped and fluffy. We don't want to hear any of the sugar. Oh, by the way, my stand mixer goes up to a 12 speed and I will mix this on a 12 speed um, for as long as it takes. Depending upon your stand mixer, it could take anywhere from like six, seven to 10 to 12 minutes. So you have to watch it and I will show you what light and fluffy looks like at the end. We have achieved light and fluffy. So this is what you want your mixture to look like. It is smooth, it is whipped, it is light and fluffy. That didn't take me long at all. Um, all of my fats were already at room temperature. And quite honestly, when I am mixing cakes with cream cheese, I achieve that light and fluffy texture a lot faster when I don't. Okay. I have five eggs, five large eggs at room temperature, and we're gonna add them in one at a time. If more than one falls in at a time, that is perfectly fine. And I'm only gonna mix until the yolk has disappeared. At this point in time, you do not wanna overmix, and I'm gonna mix this on like a medium speed, well, a low medium speed, about a four. And that was my second egg. That's my third egg. That is my fourth egg. And my fifth and final egg. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, I'm gonna stop. And of course, all along the way, you are scraping down the side of your bowl. And while I was mixing, before I added in the eggs, I actually stopped and scraped down the side of my bowl twice. Okay, so that's something you wanna do all throughout the process to make sure that you're not leaving anything out. 
So next I have three cups of swans down cake flour and mixed whisk, whisked together. I have in a half a cup of Hershey's chocolate uh, cocoa, uh, a fourth of a tablespoon of salt, and a full teaspoon of baking powder. And we're gonna add that in approximately one cup at a time. And we're going to mix low and slow. We do not wanna over mix the batter and we don't want our flour mixture to fly everywhere. Low and slow. And now I'm mixing at a two, level two. Stop. And scrape down the side of the bowl. Notice I did not mix long at all. I'm gonna add in my second cup of my flour mixture. And we're gonna mix low and slow. And of course, we know the drill. We're going to scrape down the side of the bowl. And my third cup, mixing low and slow. And just like that, I am done. Um, if you've watched any of my cake videos, you know that I like to uh, mix the rest by hand because I do not want to over mix. So I'm gonna get the excess off of the whisk and then I'm gonna mix the rest by hand. So you can still see just a little bit of the flour on top and, and on the sides and that's perfectly fine. I've tasted it and it tastes delicious. I'm just gonna mix the rest by hand here. And just like that, isn't that pretty? Our chocolate pound cake has been mixed, and now we're going to get it into the bun pan. I sprayed my bundt pan with baking spray, pan baking spray, but then I also went in with some all-purpose flour and made sure that I coated the bottom, the sides, and the tube, and we're going to get our batter into the bundt pan. I had to take a pause for the calls and uh, clean because if you notice, I'll probably speed that part up while I'm putting the batter in, but I had a whole clump of batter, not a clump, but uh, batter fell down the tube, so I had to take some time to clean out the tube and clean up the counter, but we're not gonna take the time to shake out the air bubbles. Make sure everything is nice and even. is ready to go in the oven. I have preheated my oven to 315 degrees and this will bake probably right at a full hour and a half. That's the sound we like to hear. Okay, so this is our chocolate pound cake. 
<laughs> honestly it kind of looks like a regular pound cake doesn't it but of course it will have those hints of chocolate in it and you guys I found some kit oops I found some kit cats so I think for my glaze I'm gonna melt some kit cats with some coffee creamer and have a, a decadent glaze I think that's what I want to do I'm not sure yet but of course we're gonna let the cake cool completely and then we will be ready to glaze cut and taste all right so I know I said I was gonna use the Kit Kat and I still might if necessary but I forgot that I had some semi-sweet Baker's chocolate because I did have intentions of baking a German chocolate cake nah, clearly that didn't happen so I'm gonna take the Baker's chocolate I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you can see we have pieces of Baker's chocolate and we're going to use this to make the glaze. I have some Coffee Mate hazelnut coffee creamer and I have some um, French vanilla coffee creamer. I'm gonna also add some vanilla extract and if I need to add any powdered sugar or any sweeteners um, to sweeten it up, then I will. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the Baker's chocolate in my measuring cup. I'm going to pour the coffee creamers on top and then um, with the vanilla and maybe a pinch of salt and then melt it in the microwave and then pour it on top. That's my vision. You know, I like to experiment. So y'all go with me and let's see how this works. Okay, now we go into the microwave. So this is after a minute, let's see. Okay. Gosh, that coffee creamer smells amazing. Heating up. I actually have a perfume. It's called French Coffee, an, an Al Rehab fragrance. Okay, that melted pretty easily. Now, as you can see, that is completely runny. So I'm going to have to add some powdered sugar to that to thicken it up and to clearly to, um, I guess, sweeten it up. I hadn't even tasted it yet. I don't know, but that melted very, very easily. Let's add some powdered sugar to thicken it up. So that was, that's, that was probably right at a cup. It's thickening up a little, but not nearly enough. So let's add another cup. Okay, getting a little traction here. Okay, now we're getting to the consistency that I was looking for. Fun fact about me, I'm not a huge chocolate eater. Actually, I don't eat a lot of chocolate at all. So, I know I've had a few requests on my channel to do a chocolate cake. My dad has asked me to do a chocolate cake. So, notice I didn't put a lot of chocolate in the pound cake because chocolate just isn't my thing. But um, I decided to do it since some viewers have requested it and my daddy requested it and no doubt it'll be good. But um, I just don't do a lot of chocolate. Okay. I think I think I like this consistency. Um, I think it'll be pourable enough and just thin enough that it'll flow like it needs to and just thick enough that it will adhere nicely to the cake. 
and then have some extra at the bottom that you can dip into. All right, so let's get this poured over the cake. Y'all, my memory card went completely kaput. That's the second memory card that um, has done that. You know what, I'm thinking about putting some caramel topping on here as well, okay? So if you notice that the camera quality has changed, it's because I'm now recording from my cellular device, AKA the eye fizzle. Okay. So let's pour. Ooh. Lots of chocolate. It's gonna be yummy for a chocolate lover. And I did taste the um I did oh no, it's running. It's oh no. It's too much. It overflows. It overflows. Alright, so let's cut the cake and have a real plate, a real fork, and not my last video, but the video before last where I did the um, the caramel pecan dunk cake. Someone just came to the video just to comment about how bad plastic spoons are for the environment and how they sit in the ocean. And you know what? When we can reduce, reuse, and recycle, we should. So here we go. Real utensils. Oh gosh, you're so, there's so much chocolate. I wish I could provide you all. Let me see if I pick up my tripod here. Let's cut. And I'll be honest, I don't even want a, a big piece but I'll cut a larger piece for camera so that you can see the inside of the cake, but I definitely don't want a large piece. This is what I was using. This is my spatula. It already has chocolate on it from where I was trying to slide the cake over before. Let's see, let's get, let's get the plate ready. And I decided not to put any caramel on it. I might drizzle some on my own personal piece. But look, I made a chocolate cake, y'all. Wow. Can y'all believe it? Very chocolatey. I know it didn't look that chocolatey when I first pulled it out of the oven. Kind of just like a regular pound cake, but I think it looks pretty chocolatey. It smells really good. And that's what the inside of the cake looks like. I'm gonna clean my edges up and then prepare for a thumbnail and the taste test. So that's the inside of the cake. Okay, here's a close up and the little clumps that you see are like just little clumps of powdered sugar. There's my chocolate cake. There's the back. Lord, please bless this chocolate cake in your name. Christ Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay, here we go. Oh, very. Oh, wow. See how it's coming apart? It's so moist. <laughs> but all of my cakes are moist. Let's see. Whoa. Wow. Mm. 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 Y'all, that's delicious. I don't even do chocolate like that, but this right here, mm-hmm. 
Mm, 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 mm. Whoa, this is very, 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 very good. Mm. And the glaze is amazing. This is me playing around. I've, I've done chocolate cakes for other people, like layer cakes, but this is actually my very first chocolate pound cake. Mm, 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 mm. Whoa. Now this is amazing. That is very, 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 that chocolate cake is amazing. Okay. <sighs> So I wasn't preparing to enjoy it as much, but baby, I enjoy that. That is so, so good. Mm. I don't know that I'm gonna finish that whole slice, so that's a very thick slice that I cut, but y'all know who's gonna get the most of it. My daddy is going to get the most of it. He loves chocolate, he loves sweets, and he was texting me this morning asking me what flavor cake I had baked because I told him last night that I'd probably be baking today, so. I know he will be here sooner than later to get his cake. But y'all, thank you for uh, sharing just a little bit of your time here with me again. Um, I appreciate all of the new subscribers that I've gotten. I have gotten hundreds of new subscribers and I'm so, so grateful. You all completely ran the numbers up on my caramel um, pecan dump cake. Once again, I was just in the kitchen experimenting. And um, you all really, really enjoyed that video and I'm just so grateful and thank you, thankful for the views. Um, if you keep coming back and coming back and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make this relationship official. Um, I don't have anything else that I really wanna say. I kinda wanna taste that cake a little bit more. So let me just go ahead and finish and wrap up the video. Ah, comment down below if you try this recipe and if so, how it goes. I love when people come back to my uh, videos and tell me how many times they've baked the cakes and how um, well their cakes turned out. Because if you notice, I try to uh, comment or at least heart um, on all of the comments that you all make, good, bad, or indifferent. I do want to acknowledge your, uh, your comment because I appreciate you being here. My name is Ashley Richardson and that is Miss Richardson to you if you are a student watching and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Bye.